Hi everyone, this is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for coming over today. If this is your first time visiting, thank you so much for coming to see what I'm all about here on my channel. As well as if you are returning, I appreciate your YouTube's continued support. So today, for you guys, I have a random haul. Um, this random haul is consists of two stores. One is Target. Now, the first time I was in Target, you guys know they have their dollar spot in their store. I saw these and I passed on them because I said, oh, I don't need that, but I really do want one. And when I went back the next time, they were out of them. You guys know how it works. Trust and believe I know, you know, I'm not the only one that's done that before. And so one day I happened to be in there because I was checking on a different item along with my daughter. And something said, just go over there and check. And I want to say that somebody might have brought this back because I'm telling you guys, this was not in the store the second time I went back. But when I uh, was in there at random just for another supply um, for something else, I ended up going back over to check and I did find this item. I only had one available. Um, so this is the item that I'm speaking of right here. This item right here is a greenhouse displayer. It comes in two pieces and the lid does um is removable and what you can do with it um is you can create a um scene of your choice um they have on this little picture right here where they have placed some faux snow at the bottom on this photo and they have already um placed a christmas tree in there as well as as a little house in there um that would be really cool that's one option there but i want to leave this open so that way i can do whatever it is that you know to switch it up from time to time um, so I thought this would be really neat. I want to display, I want to try displaying some um, paper flowers inside of this at random so I can just pick and choose as I'm creating. I thought that would be really neat. So that's another idea I have for this. That's why I wanted one of these. And I know all of my flowers are not going to fit inside of this um, greenhouse displayer and that's fine. I may even place ribbons in there. But if you guys have other ideas of how you would use this greenhouse display, if you had it in your stash, let me know in the comments what you would do with that. Um, so I am really curious, but I thought this was really cool. Even if I don't happen to use it for um, those two ideas, I can definitely use this for something else. But I thought it was really neat. And I like the fact also that it is acrylic, which is really fabulous. Um, so that's one of the items that I got there. The other item that I picked up was an item that I actually hauled during Black Friday online because I had been waiting on this particular item. And I happened to find this one not at the actual um, store or retailer on their website because it actually was um, a different price. I actually ended up saving about 12 to 15 bucks um, ordering it through a different retailer it happens to be Walmart. So I got the Arteza which is the 60 Vibrant Colors. This is the 60 Mica Powder, and this is the Premium. Um, and the um, sizes of the bottles is 10.6 ounce, um, about 300 grams in each bottle. And so I want to open this up so I can show you guys um, what the bottles look like. And this will be my first time looking inside this box also to see um, what this um, also looks like up close and personal for the first time. But they have a list of all the colors right here on the back. Um, so I think that's really awesome. Um, the box is a little smaller than I thought it would be. Um, but it comes with, again, 60 colors. And these colors are absolutely beautiful. And it does have some codes on the back here that you can also use for a future purchase on um, Arteza. And let's go ahead and get on into this box here. So I have my scissors here. And I'm going to just open this on up because I'm so excited to see what these bottles actually look like up close and personal and so let me know also how you guys are enjoying your holiday and not just that what you guys have planned for your holiday i would love to hear uh, what you guys are up to if you have big plans or if you're just going to keep it simple this year and i tell you this year has really flown by so now that we have this right here open up, I'm going to go ahead and reveal this now to see. So inside of this box here, oh wow, okay. Okay, it looks like something might have spilled. That's not good. 
all right so i could see a little powder as you can see as well too um that something must have spilled out because everything looks closed but it do, does look like a powder might have um not been closed all the way because i'm seeing a little um color all over the box here but all the the caps seem to be on but anyway um they have this little information card in there that says mica powder important information it says the pigments are packed accordingly to weight not volume some pigments are naturally heavier than others and can settle over time um so it shows a little chart on that and then it also comes with this little um spoon here so i didn't think or know that i was going to get that so it does come with this item here so it's to help you scoop out your mica powder and i'm just going to pull out about a few of these so i can show you what they look like and i'm gonna have to probably clean this up later don't want to pull all these out now since we have a little spillage here but again it looks like all of them are sealed so i'm trying to see where that may be coming from wow that's disappointing but however i'm still happy the fact that um i was able to get a great deal on this box here and as you saw i just removed the seal um so they are compacted in here and i just moved the camera down so you guys can see that a little easier so you can see all the bottles on how they look inside of here and so let's pull this one right here out at random okay so this particular color right here is sky blue really pretty and see what that one looks like and this is about the size of the bottle i thought it would be way bigger than this um but i do like the fact that they are easier for storage so that's really cool um so this particular bottle right here it says it's 0 0.18 ounce and it's five grams okay and this is a premium mica powder and then we have this color right here which is a caramel brown you can see how pretty this one is really nice so there are a lot of beautiful colors in this box here and some of that mica powder is already getting on my hands so i'm gonna have to clean up guys so we have this one right here which is called iris purple really nice I like the variety of colors so I am happy about that let's see what this one looks like and we have let's do this one this one here is a frosty sage green and this one looks like to me a yellow but it's called sage green okay still pretty and then a lot of these colors I didn't already have. I have some mica powders um, that are already in my stash, but I didn't have all of these colors. This particular one right here is tangerine orange, which is really pretty. And let's pull this color out, even though it's coated right now with a lot of different things. Oh, ooh. yeah, see that spill? Something spilled in this box. So I'm going to have to take that up with, you know, the company that I ordered this from. But this one right here is Emerald Green. And you guys can see what I'm talking about. You see all that spillage around this bottle here? Yeah, something definitely spilled. And that's not okay. So we're going to have to figure out where that's coming from. All right. All right, so that pretty much concludes this random haul. I just want to come on here and share that I did, um, was able to get my mica powders finally. Um, some new ones to add in my collection to be able to use in my resin and other projects that I have in mind for it. And I'm thankful and glad that I was able to find it for such a great deal. But I'm not happy about this spillage. That's the only thing. But other than that, I have my greenhouse finally. And I have some new mica powders. So I want to thank you guys for taking out time to watch. This is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes. And I hope you guys continue to have a blessed day and happy crafting. Don't forget to comment down below, subscribe, and also check out my Instagram page, which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. Blessings. Bye-bye.